Welcome to my Emerging Technologies production piece. So my piece was heavily inspired by this video of Bella Hadid walking the catwalk during Paris Fashion Week where a Parisian fashion brand sprayed her dress with liquid fibre in real time with a live, live audience witnessing the unconventional process. The innovative approach marked a unique unprecedented moment in the fashion industry and it sparked my interest to explore unconventional techniques and method within fashion design. So although this doesn't directly relate to digital art or the use of VR, which is where I'm taking my project, it was a great point of inspiration to work with. So to start my creative process, I use Procreate and Gravity Sketch. Here I'm showing you my files on Gravity Sketch through VR. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the process of me creating these designs as I just kept constantly getting motion sick and I physically could not constantly add two minute clips to create the videos and it just looked absolutely dreadful. Uh, the presentation was just absolutely shocking. So here I'm attempting to show you my creative process through the layers. So I will say on this dress. So I began by outlining where I wanted the clothing items to go within a rough sketch. And I slowly started to add throughout the layers the design. And um, the tools that I used the most were the ink brush tool. I think it's called, uh, the volume tool and a custom tool and also the ribbon tool. I found this software quite hard to get to grips with so I wasn't very efficient in this. It did take me a while to get used to and a while to create the components as well. So maybe this wasn't the right software for me to use in the end. I maybe should have stuck to a software that I'd already used within this module which was Open Brush. Gravity Sketch is also already being used within the fashion industry with brands like Adidas, Reebok and Puma using it to design things like their footwear. It's a very good software to use because you can use it across different platforms from iPad to VR to desktop and it's a very collaborative platform. It's also being used in the educational and medical sector. This is something that I explored in my research proposal. So overall, it has proved to be quite a good software to use for many different reasons. So moving on to showing how I have used Procreate. So my Procreate we use to do 2D sketches. I am very familiar within this software because I've used it so much in the past. So I was very efficient in creating these sketches. It literally took me like half a day to complete all of them. So on these next slides, I'm showing towards the left hand side of the screen there is the inspiration picture that I've taken from Vera Wang's website. I've given a brief description on what I've created and the workflow. So the pencil represents me creating my 2D sketches in Procreate. The cloud is me uploading this to my launch pad on Gravity Sketch which then I can use it through my VR headset hence the third icon. And then once my sketches were completed, I was able to upload them to my desktop. I have given an insight into the kind of process that I've taken, as well as including 3D model previews. I did attempt to show 360 versions of my models in Gravity Sketch, but it was just absolutely shocking. And this is just way better presentation wise. So this is the same for all four designs. If I just go back there, that was another inspired design by Vera Wang. 
this is my fourth inspired look again all sides include the same thing but each relate to that particular design so the next software that I used was frame VR I didn't anticipate on using frame VR this was not in my plan however because I found gravity sketch so hard to get to grips with frame VR ended up being the most valuable software to be able to present my work this is how my gallery looks through a VR headset I have created a gallery with my 3D models as well as the slides previously shown to kind of give an insight to all these looks that I have created. I really like the way this has turned out. I feel like this was a blessing in disguise that I could not get to grips with Gravity Sketch because as I said in my proposal I really wanted to make the experience immersive for a user whereas I feel like Gravity Sketch it's one of those things that I would probably have just recorded whereas anyone with this link can have a look themselves. I've got the models on rotation so the user doesn't have to navigate the way around them. This can be used stationary as well which is really good for accessibility. People who have limitations will have no problem navigating their way through this on both the VR headset and desktop version. So this is how the gallery looks through desktop version. I apologise if you can hear the keyboard clicking. Um, so yeah, as I said, the models are on 360 rotation so the user doesn't have to walk around them. There's less for the user to do which fits with the design laws um, with Hicks and Fitz law. I've not overcomplicated the design. I've made it so there's very minimal interaction with the user. They just have to navigate the way around the gallery, um, which, yeah, I think this creates more of an immersive experience compared to Gravity Sketch. So I'm quite happy with the way these turned out, even if this was not planned. So the next stage of the design process, I used my own Premiere Pro, which again is not software that I anticipated on using, but I thought whilst I've used Frame VR, I may as well incorporate other types of technology that I have learned throughout this module. This being Maya 360, so I created a very, very basic runway for my models to go on. I wanted to create it so that the user felt as though they were sat in the room watching the fashion show, being able to look around. Unfortunately, I could not animate this 360 version as it was just taking too long to render, which is quite disappointing. However, I have utilised the technology and I have attempted to create an immersive experience through this kind of technology. So this is how it looks through a VR. This is just a quick video showing what the user can experience if they are using a VR headset. This is what it looks like on desktop version, a little bit different. I can freely move around. I can view the room from all kind of points of views. The quality on this is quite low because this is the short version. It's not an actual video on YouTube, but I have included the video in the portfolio part of this assignment. So this is just what it looks like. I am really happy with the way this turned out and I'm glad that I took this step to explore other things that I have learned throughout this module. And it really helps to show how seamless the workflow is as well being able to use different software across many different platforms and still having a decent outcome at the end of it. Going back to this video, there is a quote from John Goddard, who is the CEO of HTC Vive, which is a competitor with Oculus. He said that there are many applications for VR you can think of. It's restricted by your imagination. And I hope that throughout this this uh, production piece that I have kind of shown how you can use your imagination through VR and how it can be used within the fashion industry, which was my main objective. 
So the final thing that I created was a very short animation. I felt like it was a waste for my 3D model on Maya to go to waste. So I just created very basic 3D animation of the mannequins walking across the stage. I would have really, really liked to do this as a 360 version. However, it just was too much for my computer to handle. So that is something that I couldn't do. Thank you for listening to my Emerging Technologies production piece. I hope I've shown how emerging technology can be used within the fashion industry, how seamless all the software that I've learned throughout this module can work together and how I've been able to incorporate that into my production piece.